Hi, I'm Irene Wong. I have been ballroom dancing for 14 years. I'm also a co-owner for a costume business called Dancewear Works. I created this channel because I want to give back to the community to hopefully uh, more people can enjoy the ballroom journey. So today, all I'm going to talk about is how to choose a pair of dance shoes, especially when you first started. You know, what kind of shoes uh, should I buy? You know, how I choose one. So, um, you know, there are many different dances. Uh, actually, you do need different shoes when you do a competitions to make your dancing uh, advance. But when you first started as a beginner, when you first started, actually, you don't need to do go too crazy about it. You can just start with one pair of dance shoes. I do believe, you know, dance shoes is to help and sense enhance our dancing experience. So do get a pair of shoes. Uh, but when you first start, um, you say, oh, I'm not sure yet. So for first lesson, that's fine. You can wear your street shoes. When you started to say, at least I give it a try to have at least a course. So then I would recommend you to start getting a pair of shoes. So if you don't care about how it look, just want to be comfortable and you can get a pair of what we call the practice shoes. So it's very super comfortable and uh, just have a heel, it's a big heels and then very comfortable. So that is yet what you can do. But most of us, at least we want to look decent and look good a little bit as I talk about the lady. Um, so you might want to start with a open toe shoes. So open toes, um, you know, you know, smooth and standard, they'd like to be a closed toes and Latin and rhythm if open, open toes. But for your first pair, I will recommend uh, open toes uh, because they're more, you know, versatile. And I also recommend one tip is always go for the comfort and stable. You know, how you feel about the shoes and not going for the look. Right, so a lot of time when I style it, <laughs> I like the high heel, it look good, right? So, you know, seeing the people that wearing high heels good. So I got a 2.75 or three inch heels and that was a mistake. Uh, especially when we start, first started, we are not very good in dancing yet. So we are not very stable. So I recommend you dance shoes. Uh, don't get anything uh, higher than 2.5. Okay, so go with 2.5 or 2 inches, you know, will be a good starting point of your pair of dance shoes. So, and also, you know, um, uh, when you tr try the shoe, I want to show you a little bit. You know, there's our um, you know, round toes, square toes, you know, the different toes of the shoes. Make sure you try it on. And when you have your shoes and your toes should be around the edges. Okay, a lot of time we say, okay, uh, if your toes are inside the edge is too big, you need to be your toes is on the edges. Okay, if your, you know, shoes is really tight, squeeze you. And then, you know, when you dance, you know, you're going to, your, your, your foot, you're going to expand. So try to, you know, then you get painful. But when you try it, the shoes will stretch. So go with a tight fit you feel snug okay and then the back have no room snug um, because when you start dancing it it will stretch a little bit um so we'll you know uh, sometimes i will ask people to say hey before you wear the shoes walk it at home and then stretch out so you stretch out when you dance it will be better so we we work the shoe we we will we, we'll, we'll stretch it first so do wear it at home and stretch out before and a lot of time, you know, I also recommend the flare heel. Um, it is, the flare heel is, you know, thin and then flare out. So you use a bigger heel and then you will have a little bit better support. It still look very good, but I like the flare instead of the thin. You know, the thin is a little uh, less service on the ground and then you may have a little bit less support. You know, again, always go with the comfort um, of the shoes, right? So your foot has different shapes. So uh, make sure you try them. And there's so many brands out there. So when I first started, you know, uh, uh, dance shoes, 
um, you don't need to go crazy for you know uh, unless you decide that you are going to compete or whatsoever you can just get a, a lower price range shoes when I started I use very fine um, a lot of people will say oh they're so cheap but to me it's good enough <laughs> when I start you know it does try out it's good enough it's much lower cost uh, but when I going through the competitions and my techniques and then requirement is higher then I'm gonna go for a more um, advanced shoes you know a more uh, you know um, uh, a competitive driven uh, shoes so I tried Aida's wonderful shoes from uh, Russia and I tried it um, you know um, a Grand uh, Chris and I now I'm doing dance and natural um, so I like to choose uh, different try different shoes myself because if I try something good I can keep it you know um, if something you like keep them and I just heard the EF coming out very good dance shoes uh, my teacher loved them and that's will be what I'm going to try next so I'm not there yet so but there are many many brands you know um so you know uh, i will put some lists in the end of the studio uh, end of the video then you can um check it out so and then know uh, which brand and you can try them out and then get some feedback around that i also suggest to put a heel protector on your shoes so um, it is protecting your shoes and also especially you doing smooth or uh, standard dancing a lot of heel leads so um, that will help protect your slippery as well so that was one thing I do recommend you to get a pair of them uh, when you get the shoes and also you know uh, I mentioned that you you know the, the protecting the shoes you know do the shoes brush and uh, uh, scrape them and uh, to make them keep them less slippery the wax is avoiding them so that is, is a very important so another thing that uh, people ask me uh, a lot is that oh I have a black dress should I wear a pair of black shoes um, to me um, let's think about why you wear what color of the shoes I really recommend a tan color uh, which is more like you tend your foot it's you know the same color of your foot um, the reasons you know uh, we want to wear dance shoes besides the, the function the color choice to me is match as much of your leg your shoes is extension of your legs to make your leg longer and better and a lot of people say oh if I have bling blings you know a lot of shines on my shoes looks really good true very true um unless you footwork are perfect so you want to draw the attention from the judges to your foot so as a beginner even you start a competition i definitely do not recommend uh you have different color shoes um you should blend in with your foot okay so it will be same tan color of your foot um so it will be piece part of your foot and not draw attention too too much to your footwork yet so if you are super professional you can wear anything you want you can bling it out you can wear different color um that's all fine but as a beginner as a you know a, a amateur competitor i always recommend you to wear the same color as your foot as your leg so it's extension of your leg if you have wear a black fish neck because you're you know doing a tango whatsoever but normally we don't um very rare then you have the the shoes is black that's how i will recommend um for it I hope you found this video useful and get a pair of wonderful shoes and enjoy your dancing experience. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you'll be notified when I have a new uh, video comes out. Please share with someone else if you think that they can benefit from this video. Keep on dancing!